Project 2XL brought to you by Killcliff. I should always have one in my hand. Uh, but if you've been following along with the Project 2XL stuff, we've been talking about Olympic weightlifting for your larger size athletes. So your 94s to your 105 plus. And a lot of these athletes have bigger upper bodies, bigger chest, bigger shoulders. And one question that we've been um, dealing with or we've been getting a lot is how athletes hit this front rack position on the clean and then carry it over to the jerk. Ideally, when people come in the door and we start teaching them Olympic weightlifting, we want to see them get their elbows all the way around the bar and their upper arm parallel to the floor. However, some of the larger size athletes can't do that because they have too much tissue on the anterior side of their body. So their pecs and their shoulders are large and they're, they're, they start running into their own body mass, their own body tissue. Um, also, if the athlete has a really long upper arm and a really short lower arm, then it, this, I mean, think about it, the upper arm has to come all the way back around. So if this is proportionately longer than the lower arm, then it's going to be harder for the athletes to get that nice rack position with their hand all the way around the bar. Okay. If you couple that with the fact that they have larger biceps and anterior delt, it's going to be really hard for them to get that front rack position with their hand all the way around the bar and their uh, upper arm parallel to the floor. So the compromise. Athletes can do one of two things. They can either open their hand and let the bar roll back in their fingers. Okay. This still keeps the lats as engaged um, as they can. Not as engaged if they had their uh, hook grip still remaining and their hand closed around the bar, but it still gives them some tension and some tightness in the upper back. So that's compromise one. Compromise two, you'd have them receive with the elbow down just a little bit more. Okay, now you gotta be careful that they're not hitting their elbow on their legs when they're in the catch position. Not only is this illegal, it's also extremely dangerous. This is how you break a wrist. So we will compromise and let them catch with the elbow down just a little bit more. Um, kind of where we've made the mistake in the past is we forced our larger athletes to catch in this traditional position. Okay, so when they were taking the bar out of the squat rack or they were doing jerks out of the blocks, we forced them into this position. What happened is the limitations in shoulder flexion and the additional uh, soft tissue in the upper body was causing elbow and wrist pain, okay? And then we would have to essentially back them off for a couple weeks, get the pain to go away, and then move them forward uh, to progress to their lifts. So instead of doing that, we've compromised on the receiving position a little bit. Yes, that's not textbook, not uh, technical, but it keeps the athletes healthy, and it keeps them training consistent, and it keeps them training longer. 